Well, the popular ride-sharing service Uber is pushing state lawmakers to allow service here in Rochester. Carla Claire joining us now to tell us who is on board with the possibility of the company coming to our area. College students, Don, the ones that I spoke with say they're Uber excited. Local cab drivers, not so much. RIT students familiar with Uber in other cities are ready to welcome it to Rochester. Like I've used Uber before and it's, I like, I didn't mind it. I thought it was very um, useful to have and it, it helped me. So I think that would work here. As of right now, our transportation options are very limited if you don't own your own car. Uh, taxi services have been shown to be unreliable here and we've heard that many times from students here at RIT. And the bus system just doesn't have the reach or the time uh, that students would like when they need to get to places. So this is a very, very exciting uh, announcement. Giordano says it's also a safe option. If people are going out and they don't think that they can drive home, Uber is the perfect way to have a low-cost option for people that is low risk. Uber met with state lawmakers in Albany to discuss insurance regulations for ride-sharing programs. The company promises 13,000 jobs in one year, but the founder of Park Avenue Taxi says it could cost us local jobs if Uber doesn't have to play by the same rules taxi drivers do. I know they will try to swallow any small business. And it's that we see it, large companies intimidating, swallowing uh, by reducing prices. Lawmakers tell us they plan to make sure competition is fair. So when it comes to tax policy, et cetera, there has to be a level playing field. You can't give one sector of an industry an advantage over another simply because they happen to use a, an app on a smartphone. So those things have to be worked out. It'll take some time. but. I Assembly Majority Leader Joe Morelli from Irondequoit co-sponsored a bill to review current transportation regulations. It has not been voted on, but Morelli hopes to take up the measure in the 2016 legislation session. Don? All right, thank you, Greg.